the winter riding season is upon us. And uh, for those of you that have put your bikes away for the winter, too bad. I'm out here in uh, sunny California. We kind of have a year round riding season out here. It does get cold here. It does rain. I am in the foothills of Northern California. So a little bit different from, uh, from you Southern California guys that uh, have Christmas with 80 degree weather. Nonetheless, um, I do love to ride throughout the year. So this time we're going to talk about uh, my new riding gear and, uh, and some of the stuff that I've ridden with and why I chose to change to an adventure gear setup. <music> For, uh, for the last six, seven years, this, uh, this has been my main riding jacket. I come from the, uh, from the sport bike world. I love sport bikes. That is why I love this as a sport adventure touring bike. I spent, uh, I've spent many a winter and cool spring days in this uh, Joe Rocket blaster jacket. This thing is almost entirely made of leather. It's not so much breathable. It has a zip out liner inside. This thing is very, very toasty warm and, uh, and it fits me, fits me well. This is one thing you need to remember about any, uh, any riding jacket you get. You don't want something that is, that is too big on you that floats around because you need, you need the, the elbow pads and these, the forearm pads if you have them, back pads. You need that stuff to fit you correctly because if you do go down, you don't want this stuff twisting up and burning through everything and into your skin. I am wearing right now the Climb Latitude jacket and pants. And when they say this stuff is waterproof, they mean it. It really is. The things that really attracted me to Climb, number one, was the fact that this is an American company. These guys are based right here in the good old USA, right in Rigby, Idaho. Number two, everybody at Climb are riders. They're snowmobilers, they're motorcycle riders, they're into the adventure and off-road game very, very heavily. So these guys, they know what works and what doesn't. You guys that ride in the, uh, ride in the wet, ride in the rain, uh, or even sometimes in the snow, you know that leather jackets like like the uh, Joe Rocket and some of the others, they're gonna soak through very, very quickly. You're gonna be a miserable cold mess within an hour of starting a ride. The latitude here is completely waterproof. This is a Gore-Tex jacket. It has waterproof zippers on the inside for special storage compartments. It has a double sealed uh, center zipper here it folds over and that makes it waterproof waterproof zipper here as well as inlets here that you could zip down it has plenty of zippers to uh, to unzip and make this thing breathe I can pull these down here open up these these pockets in here and let it breathe and then it has exhaust pockets in the back that you can do the same thing with very very nice so when it gets warmed up as long as you keep moving this thing is going to uh, it's going to shed off that heat that builds up on the inside none of the climb gear comes as a uh, with built-in liners this has a d3o back plate in it d3o armor right there in the shoulders it has d3o armor as well as in the sleeves. Lots of Velcro belts to uh, keep yourself snugged up as 
tight as you want to go. It has these cinchers on the bottom and it has some very nice pockets on the inside here. This one has a, uh, has a little loop or a, a pass through so you could put your phone or your MP3 player in here and run that up to a set of headphones if you want. At the bottom, like a lot of other jackets, it'll zip into a pair of pants. None of the climb pants or the jackets come as a, uh, come lined like a parka. So climb came up with the, uh, the mid garments and this is the climb inferno jacket. And I'll tell you what, it looks good enough by itself that I can wear this just like a sweatshirt and it is really soft and supple. Very nice on my nipples. <laughs> but seriously, um, this looks good enough to wear by itself going out. And when I put this thing on, I now have an entire system with me that's going to keep me warm. And this has kept me, this has kept me dead warm on my core with a, a Long John t-shirt on under it in sub 30 degree weather. I think this is the first time I've uh, had all the vents open on everything. Oh, is it? And it's nice. Yeah, it works pretty I'm, good, huh? It does. I'm, I'm real comfortable. I got good airflow coming in through my arms, in through my, uh, under my arms there, where those other zips are out. Yeah. And the only thing that's hot right now is my ass. <laughs> That then takes me into the Climb Latitude pants that I just bought. These are a full waterproof pant again, D3O armor, and you can see the D3O pockets here in the hips. It's all Gore-Tex in here. It's got big zippers to vent out, and that opens up big time. That really will vent everything in your legs back there, as well as long, long zippers up front and that'll get you a lot of venting when it starts to warm up on you. These pants do tend to get a little bit hot. One of my big reasons for switching over to the adventure type gear as opposed to the sport bike type gear is number one, my, my riding style is kind of changing. I'm starting to get a little bit more into the adventure side of things the touring side, longer rides, um, more comfortable rides, and, uh, and some off-road stuff like I do with the, with the little bike here. What I really like about the climb jackets, kind of like in the snowboard world, these things are a little bit of a looser fit, a little more concealing, so if you're carrying with you, um, this is going to really help with the concealment. If you're doing that right, nobody's going to know that you're even carrying a that you're carrying a firearm. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got a little something out of this. Uh, I am a climb convert. I used to think, you know, oh, it was kind of elitist and blah blah blah, but these guys are the real deal. And the climb gear is, uh, this is the real stuff. I am a, uh, I drank the Kool-Aid. I came back for seconds. And I am a totally happy customer. Guys, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. Please share this video everywhere you can. It's, it's my hope that I could do a mix of cop stories, questions, answers, gear reviews, cool rides, all that stuff on this channel. Uh, that's enough for me. I'm out of here. Peace. Ride hard.